are many unique terms and phrases used to describe parts or areas of a centrifugal feeder, which can make it challenging to discuss and understand them. In this video, we'll describe some of the most common centrifugal feeder terminology, so that you have a better understanding of what they do and how they work. Every centrifugal feeder has a tub and disc, which are the first areas to receive parts and together make up the heart of the machine. Combined, they make what is commonly referred to as the bowl. The tub is a rotating cast aluminum component that acts as both the sidewalls and running surface of a standard centrifugal feeder bowl. The disc, positioned in the middle of the tub, is the rotating and often tilted component that acts as the bottom of the feeder, often made from ABS plastic. The loading area is the area of the feeder system where the surface of the disc and tub top surface meet. For scallop feeders, which we'll learn more about later, the loading area is where the disc and upper scallop meet. The idler stack is a stack of gears and shafts that transfer, reduce, and regulate the speed of rotation from the driving motor to the several rotating components of a centrifugal feeder. If the tub and disc are the heart of a centrifugal feeder, the tooling components are the brains. The tooling band, mounted above the tub and disc, is the outermost circular steel band from which all feeder tooling is mounted. The tooling ring, or backup ring, is the inner circular steel ring that acts primarily as the boundary for the parts moving on the running surface. A height qualifier regulates part transfer to the next section of the feeder based on the height of the part. If a centrifugal feeder has preload, it has a set of small tooling fins placed around the disc in a repeating pattern to assist in pre-orienting parts before they are loaded into the tooling sections. A cam is an angled tooling component that gradually pushes parts away from a desired location, depending on their orientation. A Bernoulli air jet, named after the famous mathematician, is a tooling feature that, based on a set of physical part conditions, creates a vacuum effect for certain part orientations and a blowing effect for other part orientations. The discharge of a feeder system is the feeder system's part output. Only correctly oriented parts leave this section. A C-track is a tooling component added to the discharge of a feeder, which can quickly and reliably flip parts from top to bottom to achieve the final orientation. Another common but more complicated style of centrifugal feeder is called a scallop centrifugal feeder, which is better suited for cylindrical parts or parts with a high length to diameter ratio. For this style of centrifugal feeder, the upper scallop acts as a staging section for sorted but not fully oriented parts. The lower scallop holds fully oriented parts as they move around the circumference of the feeder toward the discharge. Shelves are the surfaces below the scallop portions that serve as the running surface of scallop style centrifugal feeders. This is the surface that will, in most cases, interface with the output conveyor. A puck is a recirculating, reusable, and high wear part holder that allows high speed part movement for irregularly shaped or tall parts. There is a lot to know about centrifugal feeders, but with some knowledge of how to talk about them, you can be better prepared to ask the right questions to learn more. Visit HoosierFeederCompany.com for your parts feeding needs and stay tuned to Feeder University for more in-depth information about the process automation world. Thanks for watching.